Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be decluttering my face palette drawers. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into the video. So I have two drawers with face palettes in it and we need to go through these because I don't use face palettes as much as I should. So a lot of these palettes I just don't touch. So this is the first one and then the second drawer there isn't that many in there but there's still a lot. So what I would like to do is get both these drawers and combine it into just one. I'm going to take everything out of this drawer, put it on the ground so we can go through it and start decluttering. I think what I'm going to do is separate all this out by brands. So I separated everything out by brands. This pile right here is just a miscellaneous of brands. I only have one or two products from the brand. So we're going to go through this one first. So this one is by the brand Pure. And this is what it looks like. I think I picked this up at TJ Maxx and I haven't used it and I won't use it. So I'm going to declutter that. I have this one by Ace Beauté. It has a lot of nice bronzer shades, but I think I'm going to just declutter it because I know I won't use it. I have this palette from Becca. I bought it because of a champagne pop, but let me check real fast. I think I have a champagne pop in a single. Let me check. Yeah, I have a champagne pop right here. So I think I'm going to declutter it. Maybe I will try to take this highlighter out, like depot it possibly. I'm not sure, but I will be decluttering this one. It's just a really bulky packaging. Next one I have here is by Makeup Revolution and it looks like this. So you have some cream shades here and then you have powders over here. You have a pressed powder, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. I won't use this so I'm going to declutter it. I also have this one from Maybelline. You get a bronzer, blush, and a highlighter. Again, I won't use it, so we're going to declutter it. I picked this one up from Physicians Formula because I thought it would be a nice palette, but unfortunately, I don't really use it, and I'm not a huge fan. I think I'm going to just declutter it because I know I won't use it. There's a lot of, I keep opening and shutting it, there's a lot of shimmer. There's shimmer in this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. I think there's shimmer in all of them. I'm just not for that. With my mature skin, it's just, it doesn't look good. This from Oprah, it has a little bit of everything. It has some eyeshadows in here, a highlighter will, bronzer, and a blush. I don't reach for it and unfortunately I'm not a fan of mixing these. I I do like some of these highlighters, but I would rather just buy the single highlighter instead of having this big palette. So we will be decluttering that. I have this Wet n Wild little duo here. You get a press powder and a bronzer. I think I'm going to keep it because I want to try this pressed powder out and see. I feel like I would really like it. It looks really brightening on the skin. I want to keep it just to try it out. Hopefully I don't forget about it. I have this blush palette from Juvia's Place. I am not going to use these shades. These shades are a little too dark for me. So I will be decluttering that. I have this one from Wander Beauty. You get a bronzer and a blush, 
both of them not my shades this next palette is from iconic london you have some blush here a couple bronzers and highlighters i'm going to declutter it i won't use it I also have this one from ColourPop. This one cost me a lot, you guys. It, this was not cheap. I bought it for this shade right here because Jacqueline was saying that she loved it and I wanted to recreate one of her videos. So I bought this and I've only used this once in that video. So I'm going to keep it so I can play with it a little bit more. It is starting to storm out here. So... If you hear rain and thunder, I apologize. I'm trying to go fast so I can get through this so we don't have to deal with that. Okay, so the next thing that I have here is from Mean Girls and this is from Profusion. I did a whole review on this collection. You get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. I think what I'm going to do is keep this because I think that I like this palette. So I'm going to play with it a little bit more. If I don't like it, I will declutter it at that point. The next one that I have here is from, what is this, Lucky, Lucky Glow? But it has a bunch of bronzers, a couple, like a blush, I believe, and then some really darker highlighters here. I'm going to declutter it. I won't use it. There's this one from Cap Cosmetics. It looks like this. I just wasn't a fan of this brand. It just, I felt like it was overpriced for the quality of the product. I have three palettes here from LA Color. So I have this one right here. This is a blush and highlighter little palette. I'm going to keep it because I want to try a couple of these blushes out and this highlighter here looks kind of nice. Okay and then I have this one here. This is called the Sculpt and Contour Palette. So you get a couple of bronzers with some pressed powders. I'm going to declutter it because I did not like how this looked on my skin. It looked very muddy and then underneath the eyes it looked very drying. And then we have this palette. I believe I bought this one to try in that Jacqueline video if I'm not mistaken. I used this one but I'm going to just declutter it. I don't believe I like this palette. I have three palettes here from Natasha Denona. I have two of these palettes right here. So I have this one is brand new and then this one, this shade broke in it. So I'm going to declutter this one and I think I'll keep this one. I'll try it out, see if I like it. I think I've tried this one out a couple times. We'll try it out, we'll see. And then I have this one right here. It looks like this. I'm really excited about this shade right here. I feel like this would be a really nice eyeshadow topper for like a Christmas look. So yeah, I'm going to try them out. See if I like it. I have a couple here from Natasha. No, from um, Kat Von D. So look at this, you guys. Look how old this one is. This is the old packaging and it's been used and abused. So we're going to get rid of that. This is the newer one right here. I'm going to keep it. I really do like it. I just need to use it more. And then I have this one. This is the oldie. Do you guys remember this palette? I'm going to keep it because I want to try it out a little bit. There's some videos that I was watching like years ago when people were talking about this that I want to kind of recreate. So I'm going to keep it for a while. Okay, now I have three or four from e.l.f. The first one, this one I haven't opened yet, so I'm going to keep it so I can at least try it. This I've tried a couple times. You get a highlighter. I think these are all highlighters. I think the whole thing is a highlighter. I didn't like it, so I'm going to declutter it. I have this blush palette right here. As you can tell, I've used this one quite a bit, but I'm going to declutter that too. And then I have this little duo here. You get you get a blush and a highlighter. I'm going to keep it so I can play with it a little bit and see if I like it or not. I have some Jacqueline products here. So we're going to look at them 
So I have two of these. This is the brightening and setting palette. So I have two of them here. This one is for fair skin and I think the other one is for a light skin. I'm going to keep both of them. I wasn't a fan of them, but I feel like I just need to give them another try. So we'll keep them. And then I have three of these bronzer blush duo. I'm gonna keep all of them. And then I have this one, this highlighter palette. I'm going to keep it. Whereas these two shades right here, I can't even show you guys. These two shades up here, my favorite. I really love the way that they look. And then I have this palette right here. I'm gonna keep it. It's not my favorite. I wanted the other palette, but I don't know why I picked this one instead of the other one. There's a lot of shades in here, like these up here that I don't use, but I have been really enjoying these two shades right here, so I want to keep it for a little bit longer so I can play with them. I have two palettes from Lunar Beauty. These are both blush palettes. I'm keeping both of them. I'll just show you guys what they look like. I like this one for these shades right here. And this is the newer one that I just got. But this one right here is my favorite. I love all of these shades. So if you're the same skin tone as me, go pick this one up. I'm telling you, it's my favorite blush palette. So now we have some from Too Faced. I've had these for quite some time, so I don't know if they're going to be any good. I'm going to declutter this one. It is, it's just old and I've had it for a while. Then there is this palette right here. Something's telling me I wanna try these two shades. I've been looking for like the perfect under eye powder that won't crease. I wanna try it out. If it doesn't work, I'll toss it at that point. And then I have this one. It looks like this. We will be decluttering that. I feel like I had two of these and I decluttered the other one. Am I wrong? But for some reason I have this one in my palette, a face palette drawer, I'm assuming for these shades. I'm not sure. But we're going to just put that aside because I don't know why that was in there. And then the last two palettes that I have are from Benefit. This is the Cheerleader Mini Palette. This is like my favorite palette to take with me on vacations because I have a blonde, what? I have a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush, and I like all three of them. They're amazing. And then the next one in here is all of these minis. I picked it up because I thought it was just really nice to have. You get a bronzer with three blushes, and I really like all of these blushes. I do not have these blushes individually, so I thought it was really nice to have this palette, but I honestly, ha I'd never use it because I forget that I have it, so we're going to keep it. I'm gonna go and count up, count up how many I'm keeping and how many I'm decluttering, and then I will get back to you guys and let you know. So I am keeping 22 palettes, and I am going to be decluttering 20 face palettes. That is almost 50% of my face palette collection. I am really excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a lot more videos coming very soon. I've been busy and it's summertime got really crazy. So I'm hoping that everything will kind of calm down for a while so I can get some more videos out. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.